Okay, hello. So we're talking right now about the strength you need to be able to do a handstand safely. The first one you're going to be doing is a push-up position with the body in hollow. And I'm going to demonstrate this in the video. Basically, your hands are directly underneath your shoulders, your abs are contracted, your glutes are contracted, and you're making sure your whole body is stable. If you can't maintain a position on your hands this way, I don't recommend doing a handstand just yet. I recommend getting more time in this position and building that up first. The second thing you're going to be doing is putting your feet on an elevated surface while still facing stomach to floor and then you're going to try and get your hips to go directly over the top of your hands. So this is my hands right here coming like that trying to get my hips to go over the top of my hands. And I'm going to do that to try and simulate what it feels like to have more weight on my shoulders and my wrists. So if you can't do that yet then I highly recommend not pursuing the handstand just yet. Instead, take more time in that position until you get strong, strength enough to be able to hold that without shaking too much. You can also do this on the floor by simply putting your hands directly underneath your shoulders and then trying to jump your hips up over the top of your hands. Now, we're not trying to get to handstand. You shouldn't be trying to lift your feet over the top of you. You should just be trying to push your hips up over and over again. This is a really easy way to see if you have the strength in your shoulders to be able to do this. So make sure you do the strength test first before going on to any other thing. If you feel like you can hold your weight that way, then you can also try to lift one leg off the ground, put it back down and lift the other leg off the ground. Give this a shot, message me, ask me any questions you want, tell me how you did, and then we'll move on.